What's up YouTube, my name's Prophecy and welcome back to the channel. In this video, as you guys can tell, we might have some information on the newest Call of Duty 2017 title, hint, name, kind of thing. So let's jump straight into the information that we have already. So it's been rumoured that the possible newest Call of Duty is going to be heading towards World War II, Vietnam, or Cold War stage. That's what's kind of been rumoured in the past. We've, we've covered that in the past. We've looked at it. And now a lot of more people are saying it's going to be like Cold War or Civil War or something like that. However, there's also been something else that's happened that has influenced my making on this video. So some of you may or may not know that in the last couple of weeks... A lot of people have been axed from Activision and from Call of Duty titles and stuff like that because of how bad Infinite Warfare has done sales-wise. And in a report that was released by the organization that axed a load of voiceover people for Call of Duty, you know, like the voice actors who make the, on, on the online noises, make the campaign voices and stuff like that, the organization called SAG After Strike has announced on their website a list of publishers who are now obviously free agents to work on other games and the games that the actors were currently working on. Now within that list there was a brand new Call of Duty game that has not been revealed before called Call of Duty Stronghold, also known as Call of Duty Stronghold and Lethal Combat. As we know in the Call of Duty community game, in the Call of Duty community, sorry, there is not a game called Call of Duty Stronghold, and there's not a game called Call of Duty Stronghold and Lethal Combat, so those games do not exist. So far in the past as well, Activision have not stuck to a single name title for Call of Duty, apart from Call of Duty Ghosts, so who knows, this could be an internal sort of code to not leak it out to us. And on the website that I'm reading this from, it's from Charlie Intel, so a huge shout out to them for making this. I'll comment and link all their stuff in the comment section down below where I get all these ideas from. So if you want to read more details and stuff like that, go check them out. I'm literally just branching over it super quick for you guys. So the, we haven't had a one name combat title of Call of Duty since Call of Duty Ghosts and nothing before that either. And Charlie Intel also say that it's very, very early for Activision to finalize a name or even to confirm that name to the voice actors at this period of production. All we know for certain is that Call of Duty 2017 will be released around November. It's boots on the ground and it's from Sledgehammer. However, when I read the article, the name Stronghold sort of took something up to me and I thought... I'm just going to Google Stronghold, and I Google Stronghold, and it came up with a few Game of War things, but I think it was about the third or fourth post, there was something called German World War II Strongholds. Now, German Strongholds were throughout World War II, and they were towns and cities designated by Adolf Hitler himself to make sure that they were defended at all, at all costs, no matter what it cost the Nazis or whatever. Adolf Hitler wanted these cities and towns to be to be solid. They want he wanted them to be their strongholds. So I googled it a little bit more after seeing this. I, I thought right. It's been leaked World War Two. We've got strongholds. Now there's leaked strongholds from World War Two for Germany. So I Google it to see if there is any other strongholds. And it was pretty plain to see as well that in the end of 1942, so I I can't remember the dates of World War II. I ain't gonna lie to you. I believe 1942 was the start, but I might be completely wrong. The Japanese Empire had extended, as expanded, sorry, its stronghold to the Pacific Ocean and the Pacific Islands surrounding Japan, and obviously the Americans wanted that. So now this brings a whole new dilemma to 2017 Call of Duty. It's been rumored that it's strong. The name is going to be Stronghold. Statistical and historical facts show that the Germans had strongholds in World War II, the Japanese and Americans were fighting over the Pacific Island strongholds in World War II, the only one that I couldn't find strongholds for was Britain or the UK or Russia or anything like that. So could we be seeing a potential Japan versus American versus uh, Germany World War II state game? Now I'm thinking it's unlikely we'll be seeing a World War II game because we had Call of Duty World at War from Treyarch back in the day, but who knows? Sledgehammer could make their own thing based around just Japan versus America. They could do their own thing of World War II completely. Who knows? They could do Germany versus America. 
but this ties into all the confirmed leaks back in the past and the leaks today saying that Call of Duty 2017 from Sledgehammer is going to be a World War 2 game. Like I said, all the links that I've been looking at will be in the description down below. So make sure you go check them out, read a little bit more and let me know what you guys think. If you're happy for a World War 2 game to be released by Sledgehammer, let me know. Spam them comments. But for now, that's all I've got for you. Remember to like and subscribe. Until the next time, YouTube, I've been your boy Prophecy. Peace.